Hello, today I'm talking about Trunkus Aterosus Anything. Trunkus Aterosus is a cyanotic congenital abnormality in which a single trunk supply both the pulmonary and systemic circulation instead of a separate aorta and pul a pulmonary trunk. It is usually classified as conotrancor anomaly. It accounts for up to 2% of congenital cardiac anomaly and is almost always associated with a ventricular subdural defect, VSD, to a low circulation circulatory flow secret completion. The estimate incident is around one over 10,000 birth. Clinical presentation may come with the signs and symptoms of cyanotic or congestive heart failure. Pathology. There is a lack of normal separation of the embryological truncus hydrosis into a separate aorta and pulmonary trunk. This result in a single arterial vessel that originates from the heart that supply the system pulmonary and coronary circulation. It may also result in a common trunk valve, which can contain two to four cars. This is the classification of Colette and Edward. So this classification divide into four types of truncus arteriosus. First type, aorta and main pulmonary artery shares a common arterial trunk. Second type, right and left pulmonary artery arise separately from the posterior part of truncus. Type 3 separate originate of the pulmonary artery from the lateral aspect of the truncus. Type 4 neither pulmonary artery branch arising from the common trunk with the lung supplied by collateral pseudo truncus. By one Ras classification. Troncos also divide into four types. First type, aorta and main pulmonary artery shares a common artery trunk. Second type, separate origin of the brain pulmonary artery from the left and right at lateral aspect, the common trunk. Size 3 origin of one brand pulmonary artery from the common trunk with other lung supply either by collateral or a pulmonary artery arising from aortic arch. Type 4 coexistence of an interrupted aortic arch. Association is usually associated with a right side aortic arch, interrupted aortic arch, persistent of primitive aortic arch, George syndrome, charge syndrome. In Czech radiograph, may so moderate cardiomegaly with pulmonary clitoral main as a result of collateral formation in widened megastinium. However, the main pulmonary artery 
rising from common term, may small and usual repulsion, which may result in the narrow mediastinium, is this along with moderate cardiomegaly and ordinary collateral give an apparent that is similar to the low transposition of great artery. Right side with aorta arch may be seen in 40%, ranging from 35 to 15% of cases. So here is an example of the image of truncus arteriosus. We can see cardiomegaly, coronary vascular is slightly increased, mild pulmonary fetora. Right-sided aortic arch is demonstrated. Here is another case of truncus pulmonary We can see cardiomegaly, lung are hyperinflated with increased pulmonary vascular. The right side of the aortic heart is demonstrated. In antenatal ultrasound or echography, a low direct visualization of a single child, alpha track due and the most useful color the flow may additional so flow across those They through an associated wing as they. So the first left video so a four chamber view, so left axis deviation. And on the right video, Petaliography of truncus arteriosus on the fine chamber view in first truncal branch is clearly seen coming out possibly of the large trunk. Let's see the lab again. And this is a single large trunk in a seen to be giving rise to the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Let's see again. In CT or CTA, a low direct visualization of abnormal anatomy of the truncus arteriosus. These three images of Kaya CT show the alpha and main pulmonary artery share common trunk, which Let's write a high ventricular sub defect. Finding a compatible with truncus atrocious by Colet and Edward Taiwan or Van Park. Brass Chai A1. In Hamohai, a low direct display of the anomalous anatomy 
SSIP sign sequence can open an additional functional assessment. So this is axial T1 image sequence in a year synodic boy. So a single atrial vessel at the base of the heart without a distinct and separate aorta or pulmonary trunk from which the aortic eye pulmonary coronary artery originate. Why arrow point to the origin of the pulmonary artery from the left inferior base of this common trunk? Classify it as type 1 of truncus arteriosus of black side press among my image. So a large VSD. Right block arrow indicate this is the panel of coronal T1 MA on my sequence in the same patient. So the coronary artery right block arrow to originate from the left inferior aspect of the base atrial trunk with a short main stem classify it into pi one trunk trunkus arteriosus. Treatment and prognosis due to parallel fetal simulation. Truncus arteriosus does not cause any hemodynamic problem in, in utero. However, it is a, a major problem cause not only, and if left untreated, approximately 80% of infant die within the first year of life. Thank you.